Hi, welcome back to Management Decision Tools. In this section, we are going to explore the waiting line models, or what is commonly called the queuing theory. Queuing theory is a very extensively studied topic, and it is so common, so frequently encountered, and also very well uh, known and well studied, that we want to use uh, two, two uh, seminars to discuss uh, this particular theory, so as to make our discussion uh, more uh, oriented towards the application side. All right, so we will not uh, look too much into the derivations, the mathematical theorems and all that as before, as aligned with the theme of management decision tools uh, lessons. What we will focus on is how do we identify a particular situation in business, in our lives, and find a way to uh, uh, map it to the assumptions and, and framework of queuing theory and then use the results from this theory to uh, educate us, enlighten us further on the expected behavior of the queue. So in so knowing, we can then plan ahead for what might be the worst case scenario to avoid a worst case scenario or to simply not uh, go into this queuing kind of structure because it has bad behavior and uh, a priori upfront we will then be able to decide to have a healthier structure to manage our traffic to manage our production and so on and so forth right so um, <clears throat> ample opportunities for us to uh, face queues and queue systems like it or don't like it and therefore having a good grasp of the characteristics, behavior, expected uh, performance, all these will be very helpful uh, in allowing us to make wiser decisions. So our treatment for uh, these two parts will be basically for this seminar, we look at one server system, right? So introduction, very simple agenda. We will learn how uh, queuing theory sees the world of queue systems. We know queues, right? Just people lining up, right? Or uh, vehicles uh, lining up, or many, many different situations. The items line up, waiting for certain events to happen, waiting to be serviced, waiting to draw tickets, waiting to um, uh, draw money from ATM machines, waiting for bank service, uh, waiting for various things. So uh, how does the theory see these very disparate looking situations okay so how does the theory see it? what will be sensitive to the theory what will alter the mathematical formulas a lot a lot and then uh, how do we tease out the results from the theory that is the theory going to be applicable in all situations right so we have uh, a lot of questions even though we are we may not busy ourselves with derivations and the theorems there's still a lot of questions in terms of uh, how when why we apply certain formulas and parts of the theories. So first part, we'll look at how the theory sees the world of queues and queue systems. And for this particular seminar, uh, the rest of it will be more on visiting a library, not many, just three um, frequently encountered single server systems. Single server systems. So that next time when people tell you, uh, we have an MM1 queue, uh, model of our business then you kind of understand what they are trying to tell you so one server systems for today simple easy examples to start us off with uh, three categories of queue systems uh, in the next seminar associated with the treatment of queue theory uh, we'll talk about multiple server systems okay okay so where the formulas will be looking very different and uh, but the way we should treat it is that uh, multiple servers, they are just uh, having more servers and actually what are servers? We'll see in this discussion.